Hello everybody, this is Pastor Hilly and I'm here in the sanctuary of Faith Lutheran Church. Prior to Easter, the council commissioned a new Paschal candle stand to be made to adorn our chancel for use in worship and that sort of thing. And uh, I sent a few photos of our Paschal candle and our new stand out to people, but I want to make a quick video uh, just so that everyone could see this just wonderful piece of woodwork and the new Paschal candle that is in it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with the Paschal candle. Notice this uh, new candle right out of the box, never been lit, it's about three feet tall, and as we make our way down the candle, what we find here uh, in terms of decoration is we have the shepherd's uh, crook here, and then you, have, you can see the four uh, the, the cross here, the equal-sided cross, which is the Greek cross in the center of that uh, shepherd's crook. At the bottom of it here, we have uh, the alpha, A, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, and the omega, the last letter of the Greek alphabet. And you also notice that there are these four colored squares, blue for advent, purple for lent, green for the green season, which is the season that follows Pentecost, as well as the season of Epiphany, and then red, which is the color that we use on Pentecost, and also the color that we use on Reformation Sunday. Here at the bottom, we have the, uh, the sheep, which is Christ is the Good Shepherd and we are the sheep, and then the uh, date. Now, as we get to the bottom of the candle, you'll see this uh, brass kind of cup and plate design. This is actually the cup and plate from the original Paschal candle. I had that taken off, so this is a part of the old Paschal candle stand that has been repurposed or, or reused as part of this new Paschal candle stand. Underneath that, we can see this beautiful um, handcrafted woodwork. This was made by a carpenter here in Whitehall. It's a um, one of a kind custom job. Um, it stands about four, four and a half feet tall, plus the uh, three feet of the candle, makes the whole uh, unit a little bit taller than I am, and I'm six foot seven. So here it is in our chancel, it's next to our baptismal font and you'll notice that the baptismal font is a little darker in the wood grain than the paschal candle stand is however give it about a year year and a half two years and that paschal candle stand should naturally darken and those two things should match just beautifully so here it is the new paschal candle the new paschal candle stand here in the uh, chancel part of the sanctuary as a brief reminder, we light the Paschal candle. We light it on Easter Sunday and it's lit for the entire season of Easter that goes all the way to Ascension Sunday. And then we also light it for baptisms and for funerals. So we light it as baptism, we light it at baptisms as we remember that as the waters of the sacrament wash over uh, those coming into the community of faith, they are washed and held in the promises of God's new life and resurrection. That's why we also light it at funerals as they are, again, held in the promises of new life there at the end of our mortal lives. So I hope you appreciate it. Again, it's a beautiful candle. It's a beautiful uh, candle stand. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to come see it in person. Uh, take care, stay safe, and remember, God loves you.